Hello everyone. This is a Geek Must Have with a post bag. There's three packages. One is really big so I can't fit it on the tabletop just yet. But we have these two little small packages and then the one large one. This package is from Hao Guang Bei Jie Do from Shenzhen Shi Guangdong Shang China. And the contents are an integrated circuit. And it's kind of bulky, so I kind of wonder what type of circuit could be integrated and be bulky like that. And the integrated circuit are these 10K ten K ten turn precision potentiometers. A lot of the buck boost converters that are out there have a 10K trimmer pot on the side. And by replacing that trimmer pot with this 10 turn precision pot, you can get much more accurate adjustment for what the voltage is supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to have to order some 50K precision potentiometers for another project because I noticed the trim pots on those were 50. But a lot of the projects use these 10K potentiometers. And this next package comes from the West Road out of Shenzhen, China. Doesn't have anything written on it as to what its declared value is or what's inside. Another one of the Max 7912 LED units, which are four 8x8 individual segments wired together, and then these can be daisy chained together. And they only require a couple of signal paths in order for them to work. There's a there's a the VCC, a ground, a data in, a CS, and a clock. And those are daisy chained to the next ones, which are daisy chained to the next ones, which are daisy chained to the next one. And you can see where there's an in and an out, and then you solder a header into here and connect it to the next one so you can continue segments. I have a ticker project that I'm working on that uh, will have a website to allow you to uh, put ticker messages that will happen on a regular basis to update this. And I'll either be using a Huzzah board, which is an Arduino with a uh, Wi-Fi on it, or some other concoction of Wi-Fi and Arduino to be able to drive this. I'm going to put some cutesy messages out there and some quotes, and possibly even some streams every once in a while to let me know how many hundreds of subscribers I have to my channel. The next item is a simple set of uh, 32 gigabyte micro SD cards. It's a two-pack and they're PNY type of uh, SD cards which are pretty reliable and these are destined for a couple of Raspberry Pi Linux distributions that I'm going to be playing with. The next item is a desoldering iron and I got this because I attempted to use a regular soldering iron to desolder the micro USB connector on my failed Blue Yeti microphone. And 
and managed to heat it up so much that all the foil traces that were on the board came loose and I pretty much had to junk the Blue Yeti. I did manage to find another one at a reasonable price on eBay. They're pretty expensive microphones and it would have been nice if I was able to fix it. And if I had this, which is a desoldering gun, which we'll zoom in on the tip on this. And unlike a regular soldering iron, which has this type of tip, which is straight, this has a hollow tip on it. The whole, the whole surface of this heats up, and you use, you charge it up by pushing this plunger down, and then when you've, heat, when you've heated up the connection enough, you push on this, and it sucks all the solder into the inside of the soldering iron. I don't know how you cleaned it out, but this is a desoldering iron. I think this is about $15. Really some pretty heavy duty construction on this. I'm rather impressed. I'm hoping that uh, I get to use this and try not to burn up another piece of equipment. Next item in this box from Amazon are a set of push button switches. They're relatively small. I think that the outside of these are check. They're about 12 millimeters. There are round holes. There's a bunch of these in different colors, blue, green, yellow. And the reason I got these is these are going to be the push buttons that are going to go into a project that I have. They're a little stiff. Project I have for doing a video editing box. Basically a small box with a bunch of buttons on it that are programmed that when you push a button, it sends a key sequence through a ATT a mega device that simulates a keyboard and creates a keystroke. For example, in Camtasia, to start and stop the editing process, you hit the spacebar typically. So I'll have a button that will allow me to start and stop the editing. Also, in Camtasia, there's a way to delete a chunk of text or a chunk of video that's out there. And it's the control and the delete key together. And those are a little difficult to run. So another one of these buttons, when I press it, will do the control delete. I'll also have one of my favorite buttons, and that button is my friend because it is the Control Z key. The Control Z key is my friend because it undoes the mistakes that I do as I go along and do my editing. So these are 10 buttons that are destined for a video editing console, especially coded for doing Camtasia edits. The next item from the Amazon box is something I also wished I had when I was working on the Blue Yeti microphone. I think one of the reasons that contributed to me failing on that was that it's difficult to hold something that's round like that. But I also noticed it's difficult for me to hold a lot of projects that I had that are on a project board. Uh, I can try to blue tack it down to the surface but it makes it difficult to actually work on it. So uh, I saw a couple of videos where people were using these Bessie vacuum vices to be able to put projects in. Uh, these vices are often used by jewelers to do jeweling work. So I got one of them to add to the workbench. that I don't have things moving around on me when I'm trying to solder them or hook up connections. We'll uh, see how well this works. We'll vacuum it down to the top here. Oh yeah. That works pretty well. So we can vacuum this down to the top and then actually tighten this down at any angle you want it. It's got 360 degrees. Open this up. And it's got nice 
soft inserts in here that appear you can take them out and go right against the hard metal but they give you a set of these rubber pads to put on there that's a nice addition and then you can put whatever it is you want to work on inside of here doesn't open real wide but it opens wide enough to be able to hold like maybe small circuit boards and the likes wished I had one that opened wider But that's the Bessie vacuum device. The next item in the box from Amazon is this very nice looking ODRVM box. It says Flying World on it. And it has a nice hard case and it is a small 4K action camera. There we go, 4K action camera. Uh, I think this has a 170 degree view to it. I don't know how well I'll be able to use that for some videos, but uh, this is a 4K recording unit and it comes with a zillion type of attachments, everything from handlebar mounts to uh, universal mounts for hooking onto a, a microphone stand. I'm with a whole bunch of different mounts. Put it on handlebars. It uses these small little lithium cell batteries. This particular one came with two. It also came with additional front be bezels. Connecting cords, zip ties, straps, and more mounting units. One of the things with these 4K cameras, most of them come with enough stuff for you to be able to mount it on about anything you want. And as I expand doing some of my videos into doing things outside of this surface area right here, to trying some projects. Like I say, out in the wild, I wanted to have another camera that I could use that would be able to take those videos. And I've never had a 4K camera before, so it'll be interesting to see how well these work. It's in a waterproof case, which is kind of neat. I'm not planning on going underwater with it, but it's nice to have a case that's waterproof because occasionally you do get rained on. So these are the items from today's post bag. I'm looking forward to uh, carrying on with my ticker project and don't have anything to solder right now, but I'm hoping that this helps me do a better job than I've done in the past. A nice vice to be able to put things in so that I can hold them while I'm working on them. And a 4K camera. A couple of buttons. This is today's post bag.